I have ascertained the path the witness took, but the veil alone cannot safely reconstruct it. What stops you? Instability. The veil traces the shape of our consciousness, but that shifts as fluidly as our thoughts do. It is as though we alter the path by observing it. None would survive the crossing. I can grant passage. Savathun's wish can weave the ley lines into the veil, entangle them for a moment. But you will not send an army on the wings of a wish. Only one. One? Explain this deception. You've done me a great many services, O Warden's Mine. I'll grant you the ultimate Ahamkara courtesy. The complete truth. Savathun's wish grants one singular passage. No more. You knew from the beginning. You sought to twist our aspirations, as your kind always does. How many of my clutch would you have saved had you been privy to the limitations of our arrangement? Play your part, lest I shape you into a trinket of caged hunger to be forgotten in the Guardian's vault. I am your helpless prisoner. What other part would you wish I play? I cannot change Savathun's intent. Then what use are you to me? Mara, one may be all we need. I am being transparent, kind even. It could always be worse, as you know. This is our only way to pursue the witness. One to send. <sighs> Curious. This simplifies things. What if... Yes. Uh, Guardian, excuse me, I believe I'm... I'm... on to something. One to send, she said. I believe the witness had found a point of weakness and exploited that point to pierce the traveler's defenses. But the witness did not gain entrance through an attack. It parried. There was no need to breach a door because through the traveler's resistance, the way was left open. Its blast was meant to expel, but the witness redirected the flow of that intent with its own, using the veil. If Riven can imprint the ley lines into the veil, send one of our own to the other side without invitation, we can open the door. Once open, Guardian, the path to it matters not. Only that we're now able to cross the threshold. The veil will flow to that point around any obstacle. I told you I was on to something. It sounds simple in retrospect to use the ley lines as means of travel as we have before. But they do not touch the traveler, nor the veil, and not even Mara can command them to do so. It may seem as though Riven promises more than is possible. But that is the foundation of a wish. We must yield to our disbelief and give ourselves over to chance. In that unknown venture, in discovery, the path forward is revealed. 
One egg remains. Then all our integument risks, our layered depths to this cause. Finally, their worth will be realized. Thanks to Mora's efforts, the egg was cleansed of its corruption and saved. The irony is not lost on me. I suppose I should thank her, though she may not be receptive to my gratitude at the moment. Mora will soon recognize that it was a gift for me to divulge what I did now rather than when the wish is made. Perhaps she already has. Even an Ahamkara's power has its limits. It is beyond my ability to alter the path that the witness opened. Savathun knew this, which is why she crafted her wish to make use of the ley lines instead. Always so clever, that one. And the witness. Its ambition knows no equal. This final shape that it seeks is not unlike a wish itself. One that would forever erase the difference between desire and reality. Anathema to my kind. I will not have my progeny suffer such an existence. Continue securing my lair and gathering my clutch. Mara was right about one thing. Like with the portal, I cannot alter the terms of our bargain. Collect all of the eggs, or the wish cannot be granted, even if I desire it. <laughs>